So, the exponential model is a very important part of the SAT. It's given in this form. Y is equal to A, B between brackets, and B is raised to the power of X. Y being the final amount, A is the initial amount, B is the rate of change, and X is going to be the time interval. So, let's focus on the B. So, how do we work with B? So, if the question says, the population say double, then B is equal to 2. The population gets tripled, B is equal to 3. Population gets halved, B is equal to half. The population is increasing by a certain percentage, say by 5%, then B is equal to 1 plus 0 0.05, which is 1.05. If the population decreases by, say, 20%, then B is equal to 1 minus 0 0.20, which is 0 0.8. You see what's happening here? If they say increase by, you start with 1 and you do plus. If they say decrease by, you start with 1 and you do minus. And if it's a percentage, it's your job to make it into um, a decimal, essentially. What are the keywords for saying that this is an exponential model of change, whether it's growth or decay? The following words are going to be the keywords. If they say previous, if they say prior, if they say preceding, and if they say, of course, it's changing by a percent, it's doubling, it's tripling, it's getting halved. All of these will tell you that we're dealing with the exponential model of growth slash decay. What we have here is an airplane that's descending from the altitude, descending means going down, of 9,500 feet to 5,000 feet at a constant rate, okay? So if it's a constant rate, that means it's not going to be exponential. So it's not A and it's not C, okay? A constant rate means a linear relationship. So it's going to be either B or D. But because we are descending, that means we are decreasing. So the answer is going to be choice B. Okay. The number of the bacteria in a liquid medium doubles every day. Now bacteria is growing exponentially. How would I know? Because if you look at all of these expressions, they all represent the expression of exponential growth. Y is equal A b to the power of x so what's a the initial amount what's b the rate of growth what's x the time how many bacteria were there initially 44,000 okay that means you must have 44,000 on the outside so it's not going to be choice B, and it's not going to be choice A. And because the bacteria is doubling, that means that B has to be 2. So it's going to be choice D. Okay. In this question, we have an exponential relationship, and we're supposed to be figuring out the equation, right? Now, what we know is that when the time is zero, h of x is equal to 1.23. That would mean that initially, okay, um, so the a amount of an exponential equation would be equal to 1.23. And don't forget, the expression for the exponential equation is going to be y is equal to a b to the power of x. So you must have 1.23 
on the outside. So it's not going to be choice A, and it's not going to be choice B. Okay. How about the inside? Well, um, what's happening here is that we are, um, when X goes from 0 to 2, the age goes from 1.23 to 1.54. So what this means is, if I were to use information in the second row, that would mean that instead of the Y, I'll put 1.54, the 1.23, and B, X is going to be 2. So that just means B squared. And now we can divide both sides by 1.23. So, and now we can square root both sides. 1.54 over 1.23. So B is equal to 1.118, which can be approximated to 1.12. So 1.12 has to be inside the brackets, which is choice D. Okay. So for the exponential function F, the value of F of 1. Now look, exponential function means Y is equal to A, B to the power of X. The value of f of 1, that means instead of x, you put 1, is k. So instead of y, you put k. So k is equal to a times b. Okay. Which of the following equivalent forms of the function f shows the value of k as the coefficient or the, or the base? As the coefficient or the base. Okay. So whenever they say, um, you know, is the coefficient or the base, they basically mean that the thing inside the bracket must become 1. And for the thing inside the bracket to become 1, the power has to be a 0. Okay, the power has to be a 0. Now, we already know that the x is 1. So here the power is going to be 2. So it's not choice A. Here the power is going to be 1, so it's not choice B. Here it's going to be 1 minus 1, which is 0, which is what you want. Because essentially what you're going to have is f of x or f of 1 is equal to 1, 2, 8, 1 to 8, 1.6 the power of 0. So essentially f of 1 is equal to 1, 2, 8. And so f of 1 is just the k. So the k is equal to the coefficient or is equal to the base, essentially. The company opens an account with an initial balance of $36,100. So initial means the A of the exponential equation is going to be $36,100. So it cannot be choice B. It cannot be choice C. Okay. Now... Um, it says here that after 13 years, the account became 68000 And so what do we do? We say that um, the current account is equal to the initial account times B, which we don't know what that is, to the power of 13, which is the, the time. And so b to the power of 13 is equal to 68,071.93 over 36,100. And so b is equal to, you take that whole thing and you raise it to the, under the root of um, basically the 13th root, essentially. 68,071.93. Let's see how much we get. Now the problem is that in the calculator there is no uh, root of 13. So what you will do is you will do the whole thing to the power of 1 over 13. 68.071.93 over 36,100. And um, I got 1.049, which basically means... Uh, the answer is going to be choice A. Okay, so here we are talking about <clears throat> this form of an equation 
which looks to me like the exponential equation, whose formula is y is equal to a, b, the power of x, which is the time. Now it says that the, uh, the population of the bacteria is going to double. That means that the y becomes twice as much as the initial amount. So if the initial amount is 6,000, y is going to be 120,000. So we're going to say y is equal to a is the initial amount, which is 60,000. Uh, and then here we have 2. And t over 410. Okay, so right now let's divide both sides by 60,000. We'll get 2 is equal to, to the power of t over 410. So let's focus on this. The power of on the 2 on the left is 1. That means 1 is equal to t over 410. By cross multiplication, t is equal to 410. And that would be your answer. So, <clears throat> here we're discussing an exponential relationship. And uh, that basically means we have to refer to the equation y is equal to a b to the power of x. And uh, what's a? It's the amount when the time is zero. So that means a is going to be 6 or 4. Okay? B is the rate of change, and x is the time. <clears throat> now, um, the time here is uh, in t, so I'm going to replace the x with t. But the question is, what is the b? So how do we know um, what the b is? So, you will go to the um, second row. You're going to replace the y with 606.42. And you're going to be replacing the time with, you know, uh, 1 minus 0, which is just a 1. So, b to the power of 1 is just a b. So now we're going to say b is equal to 606.42 over 604. Let's see how much that will uh, give us for the b. And I got 1.004. Um, so... That means you have to choose the choice in the brackets, which is going to be 1 plus 0 0.004, because that will give you 1.004. So the answer is going to be choice C. So <clears throat> here we have um, the equation of exponential model <clears throat> written here which follows the formula y is equal to a b to the power of x now a is going to be the initial amount okay which is 15000 so replace the a with 15000 okay and um, that basically means we can now eliminate a we can also eliminate b great now over the next five years, the population has increased by 4%. So B would be equal to 1 plus 4% would be 0 0.04, 1.04, essentially. This has to be inside the bracket. So Y is equal 15,000, 1.04 to the power of X, which is going to be choice D. The total cost in dollars to rent a surfboard consists of a $25 service fee and a $10 per hour. This per hour basically means MX. And this $25 alone is plus B. Right now we have Y is equal to MX plus B. The B is the number that's alone and the MX is going to be 10, 10X. So your equation has to be 10x plus 25. Maximum of 75 means less than or equal to 75. So the answer is going to be choice D.